Namaste and Satnam, yogis. I'm Tracy, and this is Yoga Union, where people unite in a quest for wellness of body, mind, and spirit. Whether you're a yoga virgin or a seasoned practitioner, Tracy's Yoga Union has a place for your mat. So let's roll those mats out and get started. Today our vinyasa flow, I'm going to divide it up into three segments. So our first segment will be some sun salutations and some warm-up sequences. The second segment will be some more standing postures and balances. And then in the third segment, we'll come on down to the mat for some backward bending postures, seated postures, and our final relaxation. So this first segment could be a great practice, maybe if you don't have a lot of time in your day, but you just need something to get moving a bit. So we'll move to the front of our mats. I have a block that I'm gonna be using for some of the postures. If you have a block or a book, either is a great way to extend the reach of hands, of legs, hips, all kinds of things. So we'll come to the front of the mat, begin to feel connected to all four corners of the feet, lifting up through those hips, leveling out the chin, inhaling shoulders up and back, relaxing that jawline, relaxing your cheeks, closing your eyes, Relaxing your forehead, coming into our breath, a few inhales to fill up that belly, followed by long exhales, pulling that belly button back to the spine, allowing the mind to quiet. As we synchronize our breath and our movement with a couple of sun salutations. Inhaling those arms up and overhead. Exhale through the center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step fold. We'll step one foot back and then the other. There's the top of our push-up. Lowering down to the mat to prepare for cobra. Top to feet flat, elbows bent. Inhaling head, neck, shoulder into that cobra. Exhaling as we tuck our toes and come back into dog. Walking or hopping hands and feet together. Inhales at halfway lift. Exhales in fold. Inhale to lift and exhale those palms to heart center. Inhale, lift, exhale, full. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, full. Stepping back for plank, lowering down for cobra. Inhaling into your cobra. Exhale as we tuck those toes, push back into dog. Walking hands and feet together. Inhale, back halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up and over hold. Exhale, those palms to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway out. Exhale, fold. Step one foot back, and then the other. Lowering down to the mat to prepare for cobra. Inhaling into cobra. Exhale, you twist the toes. Push them back into dog. And walk your hands and feet together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, those palms through the heart center. We could keep going with a few more sun salutations. 
And then take a resting breath or two in the mountain pose. As we continue to warm up that body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. We'll step back here into our plank. And now from our plank, we push back to dog. We're going to inhale that right leg up. Exhale it through for our high lunge. Holding this high lunge for about five breaths. by dropping that back knee, lifting up again through arrow straight arms, continuing to hold the posture for several breaths. Push back to dog. Right leg, we lift again. Exhale to bring it through. Placing that bent knee on the mat to prepare for pigeon. I'm going to take my block and sit it under my right hip to help keep my two hip points facing forward. Pigeon can be a backward bending posture or a nice hip opener by folding forward in the pigeon. So pick where you need to focus. No back or hip opener. And enjoy a few breaths here in the pigeon. To release, removing that prop if we had one, tucking that back toe, pushing back into our dog here. We'll walk hands and feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step one foot back and then the other. So here we are on that plank again. Push back into our dog from that plank. Inhale, that left leg up. Exhale, step it on through. And here's our high lunge on this side. Arrow straight arms. Taking a few breaths as we hold the high lunge here. Remembering that an inhale and an exhale is a full breath. Mm -hmm. 
releasing those hands down, tucking that back toe. Then we got our core plank, lowering down for our cobra, inhaling into our cobra. Exhale to tuck those toes, push back into our dog. Walk those hands and feet together. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pause to your heart center. Inhale, to lift. Exhale, that fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step one foot back. And then the other. There's that plank. Pushing back into our dog. Inhaling that left leg up. Exhaling as we bring it through for our pigeon on this side. Placing that block now under that left hip. See if it helps you to keep both of those hip points forward. Deciding if you want to work that low back. Or do you need a little hip opener? By folding forward in that pigeon. Enjoying some nice inhales and exhales through the nose. Whether you're working that low back or opening those hips in the pigeon. Back up to release, removing that prop, tucking those back toes. Here's our dog. And walk those hands and feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale to bring those palms to heart center. And that's the first part of the flow of the sequence. You could do that again if you have a busy day and just want to fit in a bit of yoga or maybe memorize a little sequence that you could then practice on your own. So Namaste and Satnam Yogis. Check back for the second part of the sequence with some standing postures and some balances.